Behind the strokes and colors of the Indian modern and contemporary art movement is the patronage of passionate collectors, call them connoisseurs or even market drivers. These are the people who have kept art alive by making vital contributions. And now you can get to view some of the top collections of Indian art's top collectors from across the globe through a coffee table book that was recently released in Dutch. Elite collectors of modern and contemporary Indian art, a first of its kind coffee table book brings together 27 top collectors of Indian art and their collections from across the globe. The book sheds light on the collector's associations with artists and their engagement with different schools of art. Anecdotes on the thrill of collecting from the hunt to the acquisition are also sprinkled through the book. For instance, Rajiv Jahangir Chaudhary, the high technology expert and hedge fund investor, began collecting original works of art in the early 1990s. And it is he who made headlines for buying Tayyab Mehta's Mahisha Sura for $1.6 million in 2005, breaking the million dollar price ceiling for a work by an Indian artist. Atul Dodia's famous allegoric work, Three Painters, which shows him and Bhupen Kakkar's backs as they study a painting of artist Rene Marguerite's back, now sits in Malvinder Mohan Singh's collection. Authored by Pavan Malhotra and Purushottam Bagheria, this limited edition book, of which there are 2,000 copies, comes at a hefty price tag of 15,000 rupees. Critics allege that the book looks better than it reads, but in spite of this, the book does work as it offers collections and artworks that are a treat for the eye. Today in our art forum, we have a very special guest, the co-author of Elite Collectors of Modern and Contemporary Indian Art, Mr. Purushottam Bagheria. Welcome to the show, Mr. Bagheria. It's a pleasure having you. No, it's a pleasure inviting me. I'm thankful for that. Mr. Bagheria, apart from being an entrepreneur, you're also an art collector, and now you've come out with this book. And this book is intriguing in the sense that it sort of brings to light some of the faces, the reclusive faces, if I'm entitled to say, that actually drive the Indian art market forward. So what sort of sparked the idea of bringing about a book on Indian collectors? As, I, as you rightly said, I am an art collector, so when I go to shops to buy art books, most of the books I saw on the art books are either on the artists or on the art, subject as art, about history of art. And, but I couldn't find even a sing, single book which was on the art collectors. Though I always had a desire to know how my contemporary collectors or fellow collectors are buying art. What kind of art are they buying? What is their collection like? I tried to get, gather that information from people but was unsuccessful. 